how do I want to say this? How do I want to say this? What's the smartest thing to say if I want to say this? Let's first address the elephant in the room. Oh, wait. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Um, there's not really an elephant in the room, but let's just address the fact that I haven't uploaded anything on YouTube in over a week. Why, why have I stopped uploading? It's because I'm done with YouTube. JK! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not done with YouTube. I just, uh, honestly, it's two reasons. One is, uh, one is I needed a break. I just was uploading a lot of videos. And number two, I also noticed that some of my videos were getting skipped over. So the most recent video would get watched. But if I don't upload as many, then all my videos get watched. So I'm just trying to figure out a system on like, well, how much, how regular do I post? And I want all my videos to be watched by you guys. And then what will happen is seriously, I'll do a video. Then someone will ask me a question about the video before and I'll be like, did like people are saying to me in the comments, interview the voice actor Andrew Francis of Morrow and I literally put out two days before the video announcing that I was interviewing Andrew, the, the voice actor for Morrow. And I'm like, what the heck dude, just watch the video. So yeah, this is frustrating and uh, I, wanna, I wanna make you guys happy but at the same time I gotta make myself happy, really. So I just needed a bit of a break but I also had to get this video before I put the Kirby part three interview video out. Okay, so that's coming like the next few days. I've already, it's, it's ready to go. I just haven't hit publish yet. Um, but I, I got had to get this video. This is a long stinking intro. The whole point on today's video is to talk about my I guess comments back to Kirby regarding the ninja's ages, okay? I have done a little bit of research, a little bit of digging, and I've got some stuff to share. It's kind of good and it's kind of like, yeah, it got me nowhere, really. I've got Vincent, he's gonna be telling me his comments. I got Michael Adams, wait, voice of Jay, he's gonna tell me his comments over the phone. And I also have been in a text, no, a message conversation over Twitter with Tommy Andreas and Tommy, I hope I said your last name right. I know we were joking about that in the video and I think I got it right. Andreas and Tommy Andreas, who's the actual creator of Ninjago. So I have his opinion. I mean, seriously guys, all that matters really is his opinion. He created this stinking show. So you guys are arguing a lot about this. I'm arguing with castmates on this. It really doesn't matter. It's him. Oh no, did that just happen? Really, all that matters is his opinion because he's the creator of the show, really. I mean, let's give him a little bit of props here. So what he says is kind of like gold. Now, here's the deal. I went back and found the original email for the casting. I thought that would prove, like, I thought right there when I found that, I was like, this is it. It's done gonna say the ages, I'm gonna win, Kirby's gonna give me an online apology, the world will be set right again. And when I look through the whole thing, there's nothing on ages. There's nothing on ages. And you know what? There's some cool stuff though. The characters, half of them are in different names. Like I've got the actual size. Zane was not Zane guys. I auditioned with another, I wonder if I can say what the name is. Ooh, that would be a good one. Wow, I like that email alone would like, oh, you guys, that email alone has got like little gold nuggets of like Ninjago history on there that you guys would love. So, you know what? I better talk with uh, Tommy and maybe I can like special X amount of sub thing. I can release some of those sides to the public. I don't know. I just don't want to do that with getting in trouble. Would I get in trouble for that? I mean, the show, we signed these like confidentiality agreements saying we can't talk about the show, but once the show is out, that stuff in the past doesn't. So I really don't know where I stand, the point is. I really don't know where I stand with any of that stuff. So let me sort it out and maybe um, when I get a certain amount of subs, I'll, I'll start releasing some of that stuff. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool if I did that though. Like, 
You guys don't know Zane's name. I, I know the original names. I've actually, there's been talk about uh, all the characters' names. What were they? I have proof. I have the email, guys. All right. Part of the video I didn't put on the internet with me and Kirby arguing was I was like, I'm pretty sure I asked Michael, our voice director, I was like, oh, dude, I, I think I asked him, like, and he said, told me, and he's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. and you know, we were arguing for a long time, so he didn't really care what I said. So, I, I think maybe I would have got it through there, or I would have phoned my agent and said, there's no ages on the breakdown, I need to know the ages, and then they would have found out from casting, and blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it came down to my word versus his word, because there is nothing in writing, so we're both wrong on that, okay? So that leads me to my conversation with Tommy Andreasen. Now, I went right to him and I messaged him and said, hey, dude, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, he watches my interviews and stuff. So, hey, Tommy, hey, what's up? So, he says, okay, get this. This is, I mean, this is it right here, guys. He says, the ages, they want them to be ageless, okay? This means that if we do, if we do Ninjago for another 10 years, the voices aren't going to change. The characters aren't going to change to old men. They're going to kind of stay at the late teen range, okay? Now before you go nuts with that, that's where they sit. Before they go nuts with that, there's a few things to think about. One is they drive cars, okay? They're pretty buff, but the whole Mia is two years younger than Kai, we know that. So if Kai was like 19 and she's 17, all the kind of romance stuff makes sense, but if, if Kai's 14 and she's 12, I mean, that's just not right. So. He said that it may have been 14. He can't remember, but he might have put that, but they should have been more around 16-ish when it started. There is actually no proof, because the creator himself says they agree right now, Lego, that they're in their late teens. But when the show started, He's not 100% sure. He says he might have said 14 originally, but he wasn't sure. So in that, in that case, which confused me more because I thought I was gonna home run this whole thing and say, yeah, 16 to 20. There's no way to prove at this stage that from the original audition, were they for 14 or 16. I know that I would have played Zane higher up in my range. Kirby saying he would have played Cole lower in his range. So, what the heck, man? We're back to square one. So all we know is right now they're late teens and they will stay that way. This is a cartoon, guys. So if we do another 10 seasons, don't start calculating years. That's not how cartoons work. If you watch other cartoons, that's not how it works, okay? Let's just put them in like months time frame. Like this happened in this month and then the next Ninjago battle happened here. It just doesn't, they're timeless, they're ageless. So without further ado, do you think the ages when we first had the audition do you remember them being 14 or somewhere around 16 to 20? Well, I remember them being probably around seven years old. I don't know why you called me Vincent, but um, <laughs> this is Sensei Wu. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a coffee, so I'm a bit hyper. Um, <laughs> I think they're like 14. I think they're like 15. Let's say 15. I think they're 15. On the, do you remember the original audition? I remember doing that. I don't remember what they said on the... Man, that was like six years ago. Maybe seven years ago. I don't know. Six I know. So, so you, where do you think they are now? They probably aged to like two months. <laughs> <laughs> in cartoon world. Dude, I'm telling you, people are going nuts arguing over this. People are going crazy. People are going crazy. I, I, I've, done some, I've, I've done some research on this, so you're going to have to watch the video to find out. I'll watch the video. Okay. That's all I need from you, bud. Do you have anything to say before I sign you off? Uh, I love you. Me or do you love them? Well, you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, not really the response I was looking for. Thanks, buddy, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Michael, are the ages of the ninja when we did the pilot episode 14 or 16 to 20? Oh, I gotta say 14. Like that, that there was there was some solid 14 year old based comedy in that first season, especially in that in that pilot. 
I think, you know, I got to say, with the amount of time that Ninjago has been able to live and breathe, we, we got to be closer to 16 to 20 now. Because if you think about it, we're driving vehicles. And I don't know what the actual transportation regulations are in Ninjago City, but I'm thinking you got to be at least 16 to operate a large dragon in the middle of the downtown core. That's just all I'm saying. 14, final answer, Brent Miller. Are you serious? 14? I'm serious. 14. Okay. When I interview you in person, we'll talk about this more. I'm not going to oh. I'm, I don't want to comment on now because I don't want to get in an argument with you. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to fight with you on it. But hey, listen. Do you remember in the in the initial audition anything about the ages being like what they said to us? As far as the age category, I can't remember any specific notes. All I remember was all the really cool, funny jokes that reminded me about being uh, a young teen. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was the fart jokes. It was the butt jokes. It was, it, it was the girls are cute jokes, you know? And I, uh, I gotta say that for me, that was, important. I'm pretty sure that's where we started. I, I'm, I'm still doing those jokes, dude. What? <laughs> well, then somebody just needs to just put on his grown up big boy pants. Make some, make some humor happen. <laughs> everybody on youtube we'll talk to you soon very soon i guarantee it all right guys hope you like this little video please like and subscribe this i, I promise you I, I haven't gone anywhere i just need a little bit of break and i just need you guys to watch my other videos because i just think the the latest video gets watched and then the other ones get missed and it hurts my feelings well, it doesn't really hurt my feelings <laughs>